Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It's Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are back here once again in the wonderful world of kebab chefs, trying to work our way up to where we can finally get ourselves some hired help in our restaurants. And I believe that we are just a couple levels away from being able to make that happen now. When I think we last left off, we were up to about level eight. Maybe on our way up to level nine, now that I think about it. Yeah, we're between eight and nine. So we're getting closer to being able to get ourselves some help. And then that will help to make our lives a lot easier once we actually have that help. So I think that within a couple days here, we're going to be able to get ourselves some assistance in the restaurant in the form of waiters, which is going to make our lives a lot easier. And then we'll be able to focus more on cooking and less on cleaning and um, serving the customers. Because, I mean, I love I love cl taking care of the customers, but it's also a lot easier when all you have to do is cooking, is just cook. So that's what we're going to kind of shoot for here. So we're going to hop into the menu, just hop right in here. I know I've got some achievements. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We are going to go back and we are going to do some, let's see, what can we do? I'm going to do some more chicken skewers because those are a, a, a high ticket item. So we're going to do some chicken skewers. And I think I will also do a, uh, do I want to do a simple kebab with that maybe? I could do a one of each. I could do all the kebabs. Maybe I'll do that. Let, let, yeah, let's do that. We'll do all the kebabs. So we'll have some chicken skewers. We'll have some simple kebabs. And then we will be in good shape. So let's take a look in terms of what we have for ingredients. So let's take a look at our ingredients. I'm going to need some chicken. Uh, I'm going to need some chicken breast. I'm going to need some garlic, some onion, some green pepper, some red peppers. And uh, I think that's going to be about it because I got plenty of ribeye. <clears throat> and then uh, I'll probably need to get another tail fat. So let's go in here. I'm going to leave my door wide open. That's fine. No one cares. It's fine. Everyone's honest in this town. So we're going to grab a tail fat. <clears throat> we're going to grab a couple of chicken breasts. And I think that's all I need here. So we're good here. We're going to get that taken care of, ordered, run this back huh. over here. Huh, I agree. <laughs> I'm right there with you. So we're going to take this. We're going to put it into the fridge. And so we got our tail fats. Gonna drop that there. We got a uh, chicken breast. We're gonna put that there. Got another chicken breast. We're going to put that there. There we go. So now we need a. We need a. Uh, what did I say? We need a couple of garlic. Need a couple of onions. And we need a couple of red peppers and green peppers. So a couple of you, and a couple of you, and a couple of you, and a couple of you. And that is everything. So we will get all this bought, all set there. I'll actually try and close your door. There we go. Got that closed. And in here we will go, and we will get all this put away. Oh, I actually, I, now that shelf has become a meat shelf. I wasn't trying to do that, but it has become pretty much an all meat shelf. So we're going to take all this stuff, put it up here, and then this will be all veggies as much as we can make it. So we got our green peppers, another one there. Put it right about there. I got to get rid of this parsley. This parsley is just getting all up in my way. Okay, there we go. Um, I was wondering if I could actually like drop a box and as it turns out, I can't. <laughs> Whether it be by accident or on purpose, we can do that. Okay, so now I have a piece of ribeye so can I reach down there and grab that? Uh, will you let me grab it? There we go. Ribeye slice. Going to set that there because we're going to need that in order to make the... Um, in order to make the... I realized something just dinged in the background. So we will be back in just one second. I realized I just left something else open. Okay, now we should be fine. <laughs> I realized I left one of my other streaming softwares open and that did cause a little bit of a ding there. Okay, so we need a four... We're going to look at this again. For the simple kebabs, if we look at the menu, I need uh, tail flat. So just ribeye rib slice, put in tail fat, and then it's going to be salt and black pepper. Okay, so that's what we need for that. So let us close this back up. So this is going to be, that's going to go in there. Just going to put that in there. And then we need some tail fat. We're going to cut this up. And then we're going to get this into nice slices 
of tail fat, or chunks, as the case may be. So we're going to do this in nice chunks. We're going to put that in there, and then we need three salt, three pepper, and then we're going to have all that put together. So one salt, two salt, three salt, and then one pepper, two pepper, three pepper. There we go. That's all good now. So now we're going to work on our chicken uh, skewers. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to need more tail fat. So I'm going to have to get more tail fat. So let's run out and get some more tail fat. I think I can leave that there for now, and it won't be a problem. I'm going to risk it. I'm just going to run here really, really quickly. This will not take me long. I left the door open. That's why it won't take me long. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm going to run right back now, and we're going to get this put into the fridge. And hopefully that stuff is still fine there. It looks okay. I think we're all right. So tail fat in there. Going to close that up. Going to get some slices of this. All the slices. Did I need that uh, seasoned? I bet you I did. Can I still season it? Is it too late? Can I season it? Let's take a look. Uh, salt and black pepper. Can I put that on the sliced parts of it? This might be bland. Otherwise, let's find out. Can I take this? Uh, put the knife away. And let's see if I can put some on here. Will it let me? It will. Okay, perfect. I was wondering whether or not it was going to let me do that, and it will. Perfect. That's all I need. So we got salt. We got black pepper. I'm going to take the tail fat, cut it into slices. So now we've got some of each. And I don't know where I'm going with the knife. It does not go in there. I'm going to grab one of each of the skewers. But first, I'm going to get some charcoal. Please tell me I've got kindling. I don't have kindling. Doggone it. I thought I had kindling. So we're going to grab a skewer, and we are going to skewer this and this, put it in the fridge. I'm also going to grab another skewer, and I'm going to skewer this up, and I'm going to put this in the fridge. And then I'm going to take the bowl and see if I can put it in the fridge. I'm going to put it right there on top of the chicken legs, because <laughs> that's a perfect spot for it. Now, let's run over here. Now, I realize that I can actually buy stuff and, like, put it in boxes or keep it in the boxes. So I'm going to buy, like, five bags of kindling and just keep those in the box. Take the box back over here and leave everybody's door open. Everybody's door stays open today. That's just the rule. And we're going to take this. We're going to put it under a little vintage shelf. So there we go. We got a kindling bag. Going to put that there. I'm going to close this door so I don't trip over myself. I'm going to grab a couple of plates. So one plate here, one plate uh, here. So we're going to try this, and then I'm going to take a. I'm going to take a. Let's see. I can grab a green pepper. So what goes with the? Let me make sure I have this right. So we need a for the simple kebab. We need a green pepper and garlic. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to grab the green pepper and the garlic. So some garlic there. Uh, where are you, garlic? Uh, there you are. So I'm going to grab a garlic. I'm going to grab a green pepper. I'm going to take these. I'm going to put these both on a skewer as well. I should get more skewers at some point, but right now we have this. So this is all going to go on there, and we're going to set that right there. I'm going to get this lit. Perfect. Now I'm going to grab the meat skewer and close that back up. Now we're going to get this. I'm going to put that there going to put this here as well because I think this will work yes it will so all that's on skewers all that is working quite nicely going to let that go I wonder if that would work better over there uh, it's too late now we're committed we're gonna flip this over and we've got this plate we're gonna put it on the nice oval plate so this uh yeah that's actually all going about the same about the same pace that's okay this won't be too bad so we're going to take this off once it's ready. And that is off. We're going to set... Yeah, that worked out perfectly. Detach that uh, F to detach it. Set that there. Get rid of the skewer. Set that there. Grab this. Put it over here. Grab that. Put it on there. Grab our knife. Get some nice slices of garlic. Boom. Uh, put that in there. Put that on there. And under the cloche. And that is our simple kebabs. Perfect. That worked out quite nicely. Now we're going to do the same thing with our chicken kebab. And this requires an onion and a red pepper. So we're going to get an onion. We're going to get red pepper. Going to put those there. Close that up. 
going to grab our skewer, get our red pepper and our onion, and we're going to actually put that on there. We're going to grab that flaming hot skewer with our bare hands and <laughs> set it there. Grab our skewer of chicken, put it there. I might actually put that plate back. I don't think that plate's going to work. I'm going to actually go with uh, this plate. Again, the oval plate. I do love an oval plate. So we're going to do this. Now, this, I think, cooks a lot more quickly, if I remember right. Because I remember last time I didn't have to flip this. So it doesn't tell you you need to flip it for whatever reason. I guess I can. No, you can't even flip it, even if you try. So this is all going to come off. We're going to just set that there for now. And then we're going to pull that off. We're going to set it here and detach it from there. Uh, detach. Where's the F? There it is. Set that there. Get rid of the skewer. Put that right on there. Get this. Put it on the chopping block. Get some nice slices. And back in there you go. Onion there. Under the cloche. And chicken skewers. Oh, I, I forgot the parsley. Oh, I forgot it. Forgot the parsley. Urgh, I hate it when I do that. Okay. Let us open this door. Day 10. The rusty spoon is open for your convenience. Okay. And they're already here. How about that? So we're going to take these skewers. I'm going to actually get... Uh, I really need one more skewer. Can I buy one more skewer? Oh, I'd have to run all the way over to the store to do that. Let's run real quick and get one more skewer. Because I want to have enough to get one more thing prepped. So we're going to run in here while they're eating. I'm sure they'll be okay in there. So let's get one more skewer. Buy it. Thank you. And now we got all the skewers. Open up a restaurant for at least 10 days. Wow, we've been doing this 10 days. And, of course, people leave their garbage right in the middle of the floor, as is custom. That's how they show us that they love us. Okay. Uh, grab this trash. Uh, got to hold it to grab it. There we go. Put it in the trash can. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. So glad that you were here. Hope you enjoyed your skewers. And how are you doing, sir? Uh, you're actually still going. All right, we need more chicken skewers right away. So, oh, I didn't get this done. Oh, doggone it. I messed that up. I really should have had this done right from the jump, and I messed it up. That is on me. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, glad you're here. Oh, boy, did I goof this up. Uh, we're going to have to hurry on this one. All the slicing. All the slicing. And, yeah, they are waiting for the chicken kebabs because everyone loves those. Uh, three salts. Mm. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. So, oh, no, don't pick it up. Just do that. One, two, three. There we go. All right, that's going to go on there. Onto a skewer. All of you. And we're going to grab a, uh, a red pepper mm. and an onion. Yeah, there we go. And there's someone that's definitely waiting to be finished up. You are done. Sorry for that. Thank you very much. I know you wanted to give me your money. And how about you? You are also ready. Thank you very much. And I'll take your plate. Yeah, we we goof this one up. Definitely goof this one up. That's okay. We will come back from it. And that's going to go on there. I hope it's a red pepper. I'm almost positive it's a red pepper. Is it? Is it a red pepper? It is. Okay. Whew. That was good. Let's grab that plate. Uh, that plate. There we go. Set that there. Yeah, everyone's waiting for the chicken skewers. They're almost here. Just, just a little bit longer. Grab a piece of parsley. Put it on the plate so we do not forget about it because we forgot about it last time. And ju just a moment. It, it's almost fine. We're almost there. You're good. You're good. Thank you. Thank you. Run with this plate. And get that. And there we go. That's good. Take that. Put it on the plate. Detach it. Detach it. There we are. Grab the onion. Put it there. Grab the pepper. Put it there. There, grab the skewer with our bare hands, grab the knife, slices. This is where it's going to be a lot easier, where I don't have to handle everyone on the <laughs> on the floor. There it is. Got it. Everyone there should be happy. And hopefully they're not going to have anyone else asking for chicken skewers. That's all I can hope for. No plates. Oh, no. All the plates are dirty. Let's grab a plate real quick and put it in there. Ugh. Is that good? There we go. There's a clean plate. And mm. another clean plate. Let's grab that. And, yeah, I know. We're working on it. I'm getting them clean as fast as you can get them. Yeah, I cannot mm. wait until we hit level 10. I really cannot wait until we hit level 10. That's going to be a good thing. And there's another plate. Okay, now I think we're good. 
you're all set. Thank you. I'm gonna grab that plate and can I oh I cannot grab two plates. I really wish I could grab two plates, but we cannot. That is not a thing. So we'll grab this plate. Uh you people look like you are all set. Uh I hope oh we got plenty of food. Everything is good all the way around. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get all the dirty plates, and we will get all these taken care of. I forgot to grab your money. Are we at level 10 yet? No, we're not. We are still working on it. I did not grab your money either. Let's get all the plates cleaned. So yeah, I think that when we get to level 10, that's when we get a waiter. I, I hope that it's not something that it was earlier, because I think in the year before the update, it was you had to get to level 10 to get a waiter. So I'm hoping that it is still the case that at level 10, you get a waiter. <laughs> and because it'd be bad if it was earlier and I've just been wasting all this time. But I don't think that's the case. Okay, you are done. Thank you very much. And, oh, there's one more person. And I'm sorry, I don't have any food for you. It is just way too late. And I do not have any food that I can give you. So I hope you will not mind but there's not much I can do. It's I did not expect one more person to show up here. So sorry about that. I'm just going to clean up and you will eventually walk away sad and I will apologize profusely. And there's not much else that can be said. Can I just send you on your way? Um, can I have you leave? Uh, no. So you're just going to continue to get angrier and angrier and judge me very harshly for not actually giving you any food. Which is okay. I've got that coming to me. I'll own it. I will absolutely own it. But, yeah, I've, I've got nothing for you. I'm very, very sorry. At least we have clean plates. She is going to eventually walk away in a huff. How does this garbage bag get underneath the table? I'll never understand some of these things. It is a mystery. She should now be leaving because she is now completely red and life is not good. Uh, maybe if I close the store. Now she's leaving. Or is she? she yeah, yeah, now she's gone. Sorry, ma'am. I uh, didn't mean to do it, but not much I could do. Uh, well, I could have done more, but I just ran out of ran out of time. Let's take our skewers, put them up here. Where's our last skewer? I know I've got four of them. So where did it go? Is it... Uh, where is it? I do have a fourth skewer. Did it go onto the plate? Is that what happened? Did it fall onto the floor? Oh, man. Th please tell me I didn't put it on the plate. I've got a feeling it ended up on the plate and ended up being served. That's probably what it was. I'm sure that that is the case. What are you going to do? Now, I know that I can go here and I can go end the day. So I think I'm going to do that. We're just going to go here. We're going to hit end the day. Get right into another day. Not worry about going home to our very sad place that only has a cot. Because we just don't need to do that. And there we go. Oh, lots of money made. 2700 And we served 12 dishes. Uh, got automat earnings from the thing that we don't have an automat for. And we are now here. So now we can make... What is that? Is that the... Let's go to our menu. This is the... What is it? The chicken soup. Is that one of the things that we need for our new gourmet? No, it's not. Because if it was, it would have shown up with the gourmet's face on it. I'm almost positive. So if we go here, gourmet's. Oh, it is. So definitely going to do chicken soup. So chicken soup is definitely going to be on the menu. So we're going to go to the menu, and we're definitely doing chicken soup. That will definitely be a thing. And that may be the only thing I do. So I might just focus on nothing but chicken soup. Maybe I'll do some more French fries, too, because everyone loves French fries. So let's take a look. What is involved in chicken soup? I guess I can leave. So we need, oh, lots of stuff. So chicken, uh, chicken breast, two of them sliced, lemon. And then we need some water, some chicken skewers, eight chicken skewers. Really? Eight chicken skewers? Man, that's a lot of chicken skewers. I didn't think we were going to need eight. Oh, my. Um, do I want to go that crazy with it? Eight chicken skewers. Oh, my. Um, let's see. I need a stove for this recipe, too, and I don't have a stove. All right. I'm not going to worry about that one. Uh, I'll do that another time. Once I have people that uh, can work for me, then I'll worry about that. So we're going to go back here to the menu. Uh, you're going to go away. Another day we will do that one. 
So let us do more with the chicken skewers and more with the simple kebabs. We're going to try this again. We're going for redemption on this one. And we'll get to level 10 and we'll be able to hire staff. Yeah, level 10, I can hire staff. So that's good. And they can clean, wash dishes, and be a waiter. That's what I want. And we will get two of those. And what is the difference between these? Why, these are 250 and these are 1,000. I do not understand. Oh, they're level 20. That's why. That explains it. Let's make our way to the restaurant because <laughs> that's the most important part. Let's get this going. And we can go and get, I don't, oh, please tell me I didn't leave the meat out. Oh, no, I didn't. Good. I actually did put the meat and put it back in here. It's sitting on top of the chicken legs. That's right. So we need two more chicken breasts. And we need, so we didn't have any of the other kebabs. So I've got a garlic, I've got an onion. So I need two, or I've got a garlic and a green pepper. So I need two onions, two red peppers, a garlic and a green pepper. And that will take care of us there. So I need a, uh, let's see. I'm thinking about this again in my head. I need two red peppers. I need two onions. I need a garlic and I need a green pepper. That's all that. So now we got enough for two rounds of all the kebabs. So we're good there. We'll get this closed up. I'm going to need two tail fats. Now I wonder, again, can I set this on the ground? I cannot. Can I set it on the shelf? No. It's only here. So we're going to open this up. We're going to set that down again. We're going to reclaim this middle shelf for our vegetables. Set all these here. And I've got one more onion and one more green pepper. There we go. Now I need two uh, chicken breasts. Do I need any more charcoal? I've got one more charcoal. So we're good there. So just a couple of chicken breasts. And we'll be fine. Because I don't need anything else. And his, his door is still open. So two chicken breasts and, oh, uh, two tail fats. Yes. I almost forgot the tail fats. We definitely need the tail fats because those go on the skewers. So I'm not going to mess this up this time. We're going to have all of the stuff ready. So all we got to do is put it onto the skewer um, and everything will be good. So we're going to just take this right out, put this right up here, all of it right here to be cut up because it can all magically fit on the, <coughs> on the cutting board at the same time and not be an issue. So chicken breast, chicken breast, all the salts, and then we're going to do all the black pepper. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's all that. And then we can do all the slices. Nope, we got to actually slice it. There's some chunks. There's some chunks. Here's some chunks. You are not on the board anymore. There's some chunks. And put you back on the board so you can be chunked. So you can be properly chunked. And you've been properly chunked. Life is good. So now we're going to take this and we're going to put this together. I probably need to buy some more skewers. Oh, I definitely do because I've that one got messed up. So I lost one in the shuffle. So we're going to go out and we're going to buy, I believe, three more skewers. So that way I've got enough. Uh, that way I've got plenty of skewers. I'm just going to do that. Give ourselves plenty of skewers and we'll be in good shape. So we're going to go here, get a couple more skewers. I need three of them. That's what I said. One, two, three. Because we got plenty of money. Money's not an object at this point. We're plenty good there. So three more skewers. I hope that I can hold three more skewers up on my skewer rack. We shall see. I don't know if it can hold five or can hold six. But we're going to set these here. Let's see. There's one. There's another one. So and if we do that, uh, five is the most I can have. So I might as well go ahead and buy another skewer rack while I'm at it. So that is under, where was that? That was, uh, nope, that wasn't there. It was under stations? Yes, another skewer rack. Buy that. We're going to set it right next to the other one. Right about there. So now we got enough room for other skewers. And uh, did I buy? Oh, because those, those have the meat on them. That's what I want. Take this bowl, open it, grab a skewer of Huh. So I have four there. Did I? 
I I don't know. I'm getting confused now. So <laughs> I'm going to set that there. I'm going to set the bowl back in here on top of the chicken legs. And now we're going to grab this skewer, set it here. I need a skewer of... I wish I could skewer the things in there, but I cannot. So we're going to grab a red pepper and uh, actually both of the red peppers, both of the onions. So where's my other red pepper? I thought I had another one. I'm almost positive I had another one. Or maybe I didn't. I, I thought I bought one. I really thought I did. Or did I need... Oh, uh, I, oh shoot. Maybe I didn't buy it. At this point, it's so hard to tell. Uh, yeah, so there's the green pepper. Because that's for the kebabs. That, that's for the, the meat kebabs. So I might need another red pepper. I'm thinking I do. So let's run back out here. The red peppers are over here. Yeah, because it's red pepper and onions on the chicken skewers. I it, it would be a lot easier if I just looked all this stuff up. But what fun would that be if I did that? One solitary red pepper. And now we're going to run back. I'm going to put all these on the skewers. So I'm going to have all of my skewers ready to go. That is the plan with this. So we're going to set this here. Going to grab the red pepper, grab the other onion, and then those are going to be on skewers. So that's going to have that on a skewer, and that's going to go there. And then we're going to grab another skewer, and that's going to go there. And that's going to go into the uh, into there. And then I can get one skewer that's got green peppers and garlic. So we'll get a green pepper and a garlic. And we'll have all that set. And then I think we're good. That's about as good as it's going to... Oh, no, put it on there. There we go. And then that'll go in there. All the prep. I think we're good now. So now, let us grab our charcoal and put that in there. And I'm going to have to get some more charcoal tomorrow. And then we're going to grab our kindling, which is not there. It's on the bottom drawer. And just grab one. Open this up. Get this rolling. Perfect. That is all good. Close that so I don't trip on it. Grab a couple of these plates and set them out. One there and one next to it. And now we're all set. That is rolling. Going to set these on here and get that squared away. I can actually, uh, I could do the meat at the same time. I just don't want to do all of it at the same time because... I'm not that talented and things will get done while I'm working on others. And well, now I can do it because this stuff is kind of going so I can set this here and I can set this here. And I think everything will kind of finish up. I'll have enough time to make all this happen. I'm almost positive. Okay, that's good. Going to take that there, detach it, put it on there. Take the skewer, set it there. We got this. Going to grab that, set it there. Going to flip this. And then we're going to grab the onion, cut it, slices. There. Don't forget the parsley. Don't forget the parsley, whatever you do. Going to wait for that. Uh, got a little more time. Grab the red pepper. Grab the red pepper. Set it there. Grab this. Set it there. Detach it. Right about there. Move the skewer. Nope. Move the skewer. Just the skewer. There we go. That's all we want. Grab that. Put it on the plate. Grab the garlic. Uh, we'll grab the whole skewer while we're at it. Grab the garlic. Take it. Slice it. All the slices. Meanwhile, the other thing is getting nice and cold. <laughs> the, the chicken is getting nice and cold, but it's got parsley. All right. That goes there. Chicken skewers. That actually wasn't too bad. That actually turned out better than I thought. And the garlic slices for the meat kebabs. The simple kebabs. All right. Uh, the baking was a little bit off. That's okay. So now i got skewers everywhere. And I'm very, very close to having my waiters. So I will get my waiters as soon as I can. Uh, it will be very, very soon here. And as soon as they are available to me, I will get them. Maybe I need some better music. Let's see. Uh, checking out the music here. No, that's the opening music. I'll go with that one. That works. How you doing, sir? What you going to have? What can we do for you? Oh, you're going to have a simple kebab. That works. And so now I can get another. So we're going to get another. Let's see. 
Oh, did I? Oh, that, that's what I did. Oh, so I, now I do have an extra red pepper. Man, I get myself so confused at times. I really, really do, and it's my own fault. So that's fine. All right, that goes on there. That goes on there. That goes into the fridge. And then I need another meat kebab. So let's grab the meat, and we'll set it here. Whoa, we'll actually set it in the on there. Mm. And now we've got that. Put that in the fridge as well. Take the meat, put it in the fridge so I do not leave it out and have the health inspector come at me again because he already did that once. Thank you very much. So good to see you. And I think we are just about at level 10. I think we're just about there. And as soon as we are, we are immediately going to get all of our waiters. Are we still level? No, we're level 10. Don't lie to me. I see it there. You're... You're trying to play me, and I'm not buying it. <laughs> you're, it's like, wait a minute, congratulations, you're level 9 again. <laughs> I know I'm level 10. All right, we're going to go right in here. Staff, hire, yes, Arnold, Natalie, yes. And you're going to both be waiters? Uh, we're going to have you do everything, just all of it. You can do everything that there is to do. And we'll have you... Just square away everything that there is to be squared away. Okay, I need a uh, meat kebab. Because then now I can just focus on doing this. Because you guys can't cook. I can. So you guys can do that. I will keep on cooking. And then we'll be like a well-oiled machine, maybe almost. I, I make no promises, but we're going to be better than we are. So let's flip that. And then we can flip. The, oh, no, we don't have to flip that. Uh, we will have more meat kebabs coming. Just a second. We're almost there. It is almost there. Just please be patient as much as you possibly can. I know you all want the simple kebabs. We are definitely working on it. That is good. Going to take that, detach it, and set that there. Move the skewer. Going to grab this, set it here, and grab that. Slice it up. Give you all the... Nope. Well, nope. Grab that. Give you all the slices. Put that there. Just drop the knife. We don't need it now. Going to grab the pepper. And there. Hurry. Right there. There it goes. Um, we got one person that's mad. Only one. Everyone else is okay. It's all fine. It's all fine. Just everyone can relax. We're all good. We got everything we need. Um, they're collecting all the money. They're bringing all the plates. It's all good. We should probably put away the knife back into the knife rack. That would probably be a good idea. Oh, I'm already relaxing a little bit more, knowing that I don't have to do anything with the plates or with the cleaning. And they can handle all of that. I'm, I'm good with that. Now, I'm just kind of standing back and looking. So now we're, we're at the end of the day. So I'm honestly, if there's anything else that needs to be done, I'm not going to make any more food. Because I think we're pretty much at the end of the day. Are you, is, is there going to be one more person and are they going to want chicken skewers? You're going to do that to me, aren't you? You're totally going to do that to me, aren't you? We're going to take a look. Yep, you are. I knew it. Okay. I'm going to make... Oh, I, I've already got them, so let's make them. Does, not going to do any good to have them sitting here. So let's get them on. <laughs> and we'll have them momentarily. Uh, just one second. We'll have it. We'll actually put it on this fancy plate this time. Let's take our skewers, put them away, because we don't need these out anymore. And then we'll be in good shape there. So we got that skewer will go there. We got that skewer that'll go there. And, yep, you're just kind of waiting, which is good. And cleaning. That is good. We'll take that, detach it right there. Set that down. Set that there. Grab that. Put it on the plate. Grab that. Get some nice slices. That's all done. Grab a piece of parsley. Put it on the plate because I'm not going to forget that. Don't forget the garlic as well. All done. Underneath we go. Perfect. And just in time. Got you squared away. Whew. That was mm. close. Um, but they're very, very happy. And that's the most important part. <laughs> that's all we need is their happiness and their approval. And then we're all good. So that skewer is going to go there. And then, yeah, now we're just going to kind of wait. So I might actually have to try that. 
man, that those chicken skewers. I, I I wonder. That's so weird. I might have to try that one out in some other in some other scenario, because that seems weird that you would have to make eight chicken skewers in order to in order to make the chicken soup. Because I wonder how much soup that makes. Well, I don't have a stove anyway, so it doesn't matter. So are we done? Is that it for the day? Yeah, the day is over. Everyone is good. So while we're here, let's take a look. Let's go to the warehouse. Let's go to stations. and Because I need a stove. That's not a stove. So none of this is a, Oh, so here's a stove. So that's a fryer. That is the kebab oven. So that's just a... So is that the stove? Because what is that? It doesn't... Sh uh, let's see. That's a single stove. So, oh, so I guess we could get that. And then I just have to have a place to actually put that. So that might be an option. I could set it uh, somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Let's see. Can we pick this up and move it? I guess we could. And then the question becomes where we move it to. Uh, I'm definitely challenged for space. I'm just going to leave that there. At some point, I will have to do some some reconstructing of everything that day is not going to be today so we're just going to close everything up and end the day our skewers are getting better our kebabs are getting better we've got help life is wonderful made all kinds of money paying 500 in expenses it's more than worth it got all the automat earnings and we will get into a new day it's a new day so oh now we've got the schnitzel and we got another fancy kebab. So let's see what the schnitzel takes, because that's another thing that we have to make. So let's take a look. I'll go down here. The schnitzel. There it is. And the tomato kebabs. So let's see what's involved in the schnitzel. Because that's another one that we need for the gourmet. So that's oil, uh, flour, breadcrumbs, salt, black pepper, egg. And then uh, mix all that using a stand mixer. Take a chicken breast, marinate in the mixture, transfer to a frying basket, fry using a deep fryer, and then we also need potatoes. Man, there's a lot to this. We're going to, we oh, and then I need a grill. Do I have a grill? Um, isn't that my, my, uh, is that not my uh, kebab station? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing that's not that. So let's take a look at our stations. Uh, a grill. I don't see anything there that's a grill. So, let's see. Uh, special? Nope. Surfaces? No. Uh, furniture? I will take a look at that some other point in time. So, yeah, because I see stations here. And I don't see... So, yeah. So, that's a... That's the, uh, the Donner item. And that's our... Just our normal thing. So we could get another one of those, theoretically. Because I don't know if that counts as a grill. Oh, yeah, it's a small grill. That counts as a grill. Okay. So, all right. So maybe we'll try that then. I think we can do this. So then uh, if we go back to this, let's just put that in. We're just going to do the schnitzel. And all we're going to do today is the schnitzel. So we're going to try this out. And we're going to see. And it said something for the bank. Uh, we don't. Oh, staff wages. Yes, we will pay our staff wages. So I got to do that every day. So I got to make sure I keep track of that. Okay, so what are we going to need to have for a couple rounds of schnitzel? We're going to have to make sure that we have everything we need for this, for two sets of it. So, and I, well, I should probably, uh, I don't know if I want to do the meat kebabs because then I'm going to have too much of it. So let's just, uh, let's just focus eyes on the prize with what we set. So let's pin this. Let's try and do this. So I need some flour, some breadcrumbs. So let's go to the store and get all the things that we need. So if we go here, we're going to need some flour, some breadcrumbs, some salt, some black pepper, and some eggs. So we need some breadcrumbs. I need some flour. And the flour is not there. That's rice. So flour would be here. And then we need some uh, eggs. And there's some eggs, so we'll get those. And then we have to put all that into a stand mixture. I'm going to need some butter, some milk. So let's see. We've got butter and milk. Those would be where? Let's see. Where would butter and milk be? There's Oh, there's butter. 
Okay, so there's some butter, and then we need some milk, which is down here. And uh, do I have all the things there? I've got some butter. I've got some milk. Okay. And then if we take a look, I uh, once again, I only need salt and pepper. And then we need that extracted, so we got to put all that on a plate. So I need some lemon. And so, okay, so we got everything here. All this is here. Man, this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a big thing. So we're going to take all this. We're going to put it all in here. And uh, actually, I'm going to set it all here. So we're going to put all this stuff into this shelf. So I will eventually have to get some more storage space because this is not perfect by any means. So let's see. We'll set that there. There's the eggs. Yeah, I definitely need more storage. There's no doubt about it. I'm definitely storage challenged. I'm not making my life easy with this. So can I pick up that butter? Please tell me I can pick up that butter. Yes. So we're going to set that right there. Nope. I'm going to just leave that on the counter. We're just going to set that right there and that right there. And now I need to get some uh, sunflower. No, I've got sunflower oil. I need some. I'm going to need two chicken breasts and I'm going to need two potatoes. So we're going to do that. So two chicken breasts, two potatoes. And then I think we're good. And two lemons. So two chicken breasts, two potatoes, two lemons. Let's do that. So two lemons, two potatoes. That's going to be all of that. Get all that taken care of. Run this back. Sorry, I'm not going to close your door. Not going to happen today. I'm in a rush. So we're going to do that. Bring this in here. And we're going to put this up here. And got a lemon. Drop that there. Another lemon. Drop that there. A potato. And another potato. There it is. And then I need a couple of chicken breasts. So we'll get that. And then I think we're good. So, yes. All, all the prep work that's involved in this. It's a lot of prep. So we'll get this done. And we'll start working on getting this recipe made. And that's the only thing we're making today is this. We're not doing anything else today. Just this one. We're going to see how it goes and go from there. So there's a chicken breast. There's a chicken breast. So now we need a um, we need a mixing bowl. And in a mixing bowl, we're going to get some flour. And the flour is here. And how much flour is in here? Um, 400. So Oh, so that's all 400. And that plate can go there. I don't know why that plate's there. And that plate can go there. So you guys can clean up those plates. And now we need some breadcrumbs. So is that 50? It is. So that's an exact thing of it. Perfect. So that all goes in there. Uh, salt and black pepper. So some black pepper. One, two, three. And then some salts. One, two, three. And some eggs. Oh, I don't have a mixer. I got to get a mixer. So let's get a mixer. Uh, we need three eggs. So we're going to go here. And I need one and two and three i hope i can get a mixer because otherwise this will all be a waste so here and stations and mixer oh thank goodness that would have been bad <laughs> had i not done that this mixer is going to go right here for now that's fine we're all good there this is all going to go in here so we got all that that's going to go together we're going to mix this so how do we do this? Um, oh, there we go. That all gets mixed. Look at that go. Going to take a chicken breast. And how long does that go? Is, is that done now? I'm guessing that's done. We're going to take a chicken breast. We're going to put it in there just like that. So that's in there. And then we're going to set this here. We're going to take that, put it here for now. So then we take a chicken breast. So now I need some sunflower oil. We're going to grab one of those, dump it into here. Not on there. Just going to dump it in. There we go. Close that up. And then we need to also get a mashed potato going. So I've got to get the, oh, I hope I got enough coal. I bet you I don't. This is probably not going to be enough, but we're going to try anyway. And if we run out, we run out, but we're going to try. So we're going to grab a kindling, actually grab it and put it in here, get this lit up. 
So we need uh, to grill a potato. So we're going to close that. And we're going to grill a potato. So we're going to just set that there. And then I can take this bowl. So this bowl is going to go into here. i got to find a place for it. It's going to go right back there, back in that corner. That'll work. So the potato is going to grill. And then we need some butter. So I need a bowl. Oh, no, my bowls are gone. Ah, oh, shoot. I got to run and get a bowl. Oh, boy. My other bowl is full of uh, the kebab meat. So another bowl. Uh, there we go. Mixing bowl. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> another bowl. There we go. Thank you very much. Let's run because my potato's on fire. And we will get it off the fire right now. Uh, take this out of here. Uh, there we go. Uh, potato on fire. And we're going to put it on here. I'm going to slice it up. All the slices. There we go. And then that's going to go into there. And then we need some butter. So where did my butter go? It is here. And this is the 200, I believe. Yes, it is. And the milk. That is everything we need there. Yes. Three salts. One, two, three. And three black pepper. One, two, three. And there's all of that. We're going to take all of that. Put it into a bowl and set that like that. Now that can go in here, but this needs to get taken out of here first. Um, that can get set there now, and that can go in there. Is that in there? Nope, it's not. So let's try that again. Please get in the basket. There we go. That's what we need. Yeah, we got to turn that on. That helps. That is done. So now we need two lemon slices. So I got to grab a lemon. Wow, this is a lot. This is so much stuff. Uh, two lemon slices. And that's what we got. So let's grab a plate. Um, two lemon slices, a parsley piece, just one. And then how is our, this is just about done. Grab that, put that on the plate. We're going to grab this, nope, uh, make mashed potatoes and put that on the plate. I think that's all we need. Is that it? I believe so. Serve. Uh, it's cold. That's fine. <laughs> I'll, I can handle that. That's all right. Um, let's get it served. And let's get another one ready to go. So we're going to take the chicken breast. We're going to grab this. We're going to take the chicken breast and put it here and then put it into the fridge so it's ready and the mashed potatoes uh i wish i had a way to keep the mashed potatoes warm but i don't think i do so all we can do is just set those on a plate and that's about all we're going to grab some more parsley put it on a plate get that part ready going to get some lemons and get those sliced up. I bet you I'm going to need a third round of this stuff. Because I bet you I'm going to have more customers than I am than I think when this is all said and done. I did not look to see how many customers are going to be here today. But I'm guessing it's going to be more than what I got. So let's just get this schnitzel going right now. Because this is going to probably be... Probably going to be uh, coming up pretty, pretty soon here. Yes, we have another gentleman that's here waiting for some schnitzel. We're up to level 11. So we're getting a little bit closer. And there you go. You took the last of the schnitzel. We've got some more that's coming right now. So we'll have it in just a moment here. And then I will probably need to buy another chicken breast and another lemon. I've got a feeling. We will check it out. There we go. That's on the plate. That's under the cloche. Serve the schnitzel. And again, it's cold. It's because of the cold mashed potatoes. I'm going to just run and get another lemon and get another uh, get another lemon, get another chicken breast. Because even if I don't need them, the worst thing that happens is that I have extras. And I can deal with that. So one lemon and one chicken breast. I can, Oh, wow, it is actually getting dark. So <laughs> I, I just now noticed that. It's just all the running. Okay, we're going to set that there. We're going to take the lemon, put it in here, and we're going to see whether or not we need another... Uh, how we doing? Are we going to be okay? Might we end up okay in this one? 
There's the possibility. Mm. I'm still holding the lemon. I don't know why. Um, I thought I dropped it. Maybe we're going to be fine. Maybe we're not going to be fine. Is there another person coming in? I think we might be all right. This might be the final person of the day. And even if it's not, I'm just going to hold out anyway. We're just going to hold out. Oh, do I? No, I don't want to make one more schnitzel for one more person. I just don't. I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I know you want me to make you some schnitzel, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it. And I've got to figure out if there's a way to, like, reheat items. Because I, I feel like I'm going to... Now I've just got all those cold mashed potatoes, and I don't have a way of heating them up. And I don't know if there's anything that you can do to reheat them. I don't think there is. Because, yeah, you just uh, yeah you just extract it from a mix, mixing bowl. But it'd be nice if you could actually reheat the mashed potatoes. Unfortunately, you can't. And so I don't know what you do with two rounds of mashed potatoes if there's nothing that you can do with them. So, and that's the case I ran into, is that there was nothing else I could do with the mashed potatoes that I had. What can you do? It is what it is. But it's it's been a fun learning experience, that's for sure. Uh, Ma'am, we're going to close the store and I'm going to kick you out. So I hope you don't mind, but we're going to have to send you home um, because there's nothing left for you. We have no more food, and you're going to make a mess in protest, and we're going to get it cleaned up because I've got two of the best waiters there are ready to get everything taken care of. Yeah, I know you're angry. I understand. There's not much I can do. It's just I had eight servings. You were customer number nine. That's all we can do. So that is just the way it is. Waiter, waiter, thank you guys so much for your help. You definitely made life a lot easier. It is good to have you on the team please don't ever leave whatever you do um i'm going i'll even leave the lights now i'm going to turn off the lights and see if you guys go home nope you're just going to stand there in the dark with the radio on maybe you'll dance overnight uh who knows it's hard to say but that is going to be another day here in the rusty spoon if we stand over here we can actually kind of see the sign just a little bit so we now finally have waiters you can see them in the in the restaurant called waiter and waiter and they will be there ready to help out more wonderful customers when the time comes. But that is going to be all for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you gave the channel a subscribe. But until we meet again, thank you as always for being a part of all of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.